Every time we show you some desktop web design excellence, there's always someone in the comments asking, what about mobile? And telling us that 99% of users are on small screens. Well, global web traffic is actually more like 60% mobile, and in the USA, it's even lower at 47%. But regardless, it may seem that on the large desktop canvas, there's space to flex your design muscles, but in the narrow mobile format, there's less scope. So let's see mobile design done right. Here are 10 live examples, which include mobile versions of some of the best desktop designs we featured on the channel recently, and a few new ones to inspire you. This horizontally centered layout works really well because the hierarchy is established clearly. We've got this large headline, then a byline, and one button, and we're being led towards all of that by the directionality of this illustration. It's kind of like a, a cone or this triangle at the bottom that leads us upward uh, towards it. And as we scroll through this illustration heavy site, we see that these cards are just in a one column layout. On the desktop, they'd be laid out in four columns. This is a, a common thing on mobile that you can just switch over to a two or often just a one column layout. And it's a simple way to do it. But this site still has plenty of interest and playfulness with these cards at these jaunty angles. They look kind of like a physical thing because they're laid on top of each other even though they're not skeuomorphic, trying to look like an actual physical item. And that just gives interest. And see, even the, the animating as you scroll down, and then this one animates across, shooting out money out of the gun. And we have these colors change. So all these nice scroll animations are kind of still in place. And in player mobile, these cards here can be opened by clicking on one of these plus icons here and closed again. So it's just a really uh, tidy way of pulling together and adding interest through the illustrations. This award-winning style still looks great on mobile. Yes, because we've got great imagery, but all these little design touches, these little angles on the corners here, just bring a little bit of interest and give this whole sort of techie feel uh, to the site. And it's still a really sensible layout with a great hierarchy. The, the one, the big largest item of the portrait, then number two, the headline, and then thirdly, all the small elements, following that big, medium, small uh, law of layout. And as we scroll through, yeah, it's pretty simple. We've got sort of larger all caps headlines and then this body copy underneath, but it's all the little details like these scrolling lines here at the side that just give it that little edge to it. There's a faint grid in the background. We still have these animated, 3D shapes have been created. We can still enjoy these on mobile. And although again, we've gone to this one column layout, all these little touches like each letter of text animating in that really give it more uh, visual interest uh, and just separate it and make it look like it's you know, very stylistic and it belongs to a whole sort of brand world that we feel like we're participating in. And that's a, a really smart way of doing it. We've now got some horizontal scrolling going on again with the angles cut off, with the colors as well and the grid. It reminds me of the site we worked on for Hacksmith. There's a whole documentary on that here on the channel. But this is executed, you know, really nicely. And just evidence again, there's absolutely scope on mobile for interesting design. On this next site, you could almost feel like this was mobile first because on desktop, we had, you know, a wide grid of these images. But as we scroll through them on mobile, we see this aspect ratio was probably purposefully chosen. And for models, mobile is excellent really because we have that portrait aspect because it's longer vertically. It suits the format of a full length shot of a human. So the way these have all been cropped and had to be laid out in maybe four columns on desktop just lends itself really nicely kind of like to a social experience of scrolling on this site so we can easily uh, get a chance to you know browse through all these models so which one are you booking for your next project this site had some quite complex things going on on desktop but they've really made use of it nicely on mobile there's still some generous use here of white space uh, to allow this to just feel a little bit luxurious sometimes that's sometimes difficult to do on mobile you don't feel like you've got the the room in the canvas for negative space you absolutely do with some clever design decisions this doesn't feel swamped or overwhelmed, so it has that premium calming effect. Really nice video here. And we see there's then a horizontal scroll. We've got these uh, line drawing 3D animation of the product. 
And the fact that we go through from one feature to another here gives us a real premium and interesting experience. And it's just making simple decisions, like I said before, two columns here, then back to one column here, having the type at a sensible point size so it can be read on mobile, but it doesn't need to you know, overwhelm the look. We can then sort of touch and drag this area. So there's still some different like layers of interactivity that are absolutely possible on mobile, even though you don't have things like rollovers uh, or following a cursor, that is possible to do. Another award-winning site that ran recently reviewed, and we'll be putting links, of course, to every one of these sites down in the description of this video. As we enter this site, this is the third one of the five we've seen so far that have been made on Webflow. We have, again, a nice layout, but as we scroll, all these different interactions, uh, you know, are present, these scrolling interactions, this, uh, the body of the car here, the kind of skeleton of it is slowly growing as this next layer goes over the top. And just giving a sense of depth by having different layers uh, present and just making sure each layout looks really good, even though the experience might be different on mobile. As we click into one of these, we just have, you know, a really sensibly laid out kind of headline, big image, and then type again, big, medium, and small. And all the way through the site, just the nice little transitions there, the way the type animates out and we get age transitions that come through. We have this sort of animated imagery that's been laid on one top of one another. Again, we feel like we're really part of a brand world. It has a definite aesthetic to it. And there's still a nice experience on mobile and can absolutely be recreated. Akka has an interesting layout. We've got a full screen video, which is a common thing in hero sections that sometimes people feel don't really work on mobile. But in this case, it definitely does. But they've actually covered up with these semi-transparent cards here at the bottom. And that's a pretty unique layout, but it fits nicely in this grid system. Uh, and I like the inventiveness of that while still sticking to really strong design fundamentals. The menu here pops down to cover most of the screen as a common thing on mobile. That's another thing we can do to just tidy things up is just having that hamburger menu that's commonly used. Maybe this isn't, you know, the most legible with all the, you know, video playing, but at certain points is enough to, to be able to read it. And I think really you get the, the feel, the vibe from this hero section. And that's really, really important. As we begin to scroll through the site, it's just really clean, nicely typeset. We're able to read this, you know, with good contrast, good point size, everything typeset well, uh, left aligned, rag on the right, and just the simple headline, body copy, imagery, but just done tidily. And the odd little, you know, animation and interaction that comes through the site without overwhelming us, just sticking to really nice typography is really enough and a consistent sort of at brand look and, and use of elements. This website for some architects, again, has this loading animation of the images stacking on top of one another, and then just subtly pushes us down the page to see that here are the projects that we can begin to scroll through, and we can just click and drag these across. And I actually think this format, just putting all the work up front and then being able to click into the images would be great for your design portfolio. So it's maybe something to think about rather than burying things deep under layers of clicks, put the work up front. That's what people are here to see. Now, I think with something like an architect, you're going to go maybe over to a desktop site for decision making. But to be able to see this and get a flavor of it already, which is maybe difficult to do when you really want to see these images in expanse, I think they've done a good job of that on this architecture website. This is a website for dancing. And again, we have a full screen video, but the way that the crop works here, I don't know if they thought about this. It feels like they really did when they shot the full video, you know, in widescreen that's on the desktop site, because we still get enough information in this narrow view of the video to let us know what this site's about. And cleverly for mobile as well, they've got the menu button on the bottom where it's closer to person's thumb. It takes over the whole screen, which is something that's commonly used on mobile. And as we begin to scroll through again, generous use of white space, nice typesetting. We still get the 
feelings that are evoked by this very deliberately short imagery, it still works. We can just make sure that we crop properly to still produce the same sort of impact as the photograph has in desktop. And this is all the way through. Again, full length shots of people really lend themselves to this aspect ratio. So that's what they have here with these different dancers of all different ages and genders. And they really show sort of the inclusivity, uh, but also the quality of what they're offering through this site. It's a really uh, nicely done and almost treating each frame of the site like a poster. And that's definitely a piece of advice that I got and I would give to you that with any layouts, make sure each one individually could almost be a poster you could print out. You put it up on the wall here in the studio and doing that on a website will make sure that, you know, each panel is looking really good. This one for this manufacturer of taps, again, has a full screen video in the background and a menu that pops out to the full screen, which is done in a really tidily way. Very low contrast here, but you can maybe get away with it, this kind of field site. But then we have this uh, video, which has then gone into a 69 aspect ratio. So we can actually see the video as it's intended. But everything here is that we need. There's a search, there's social links, there's different languages. But as we scroll through, uh, what we have on this site, if we go a bit further, is the way the products are displayed. We have this floating tap. They take on a sculptural quality. They become more objects of desire. This is now like a, a piece of jewelry or something, not just a functional item in a home. And it becomes more desirable with the way that it's uh, presented. And then we have these products exploding now and all the different pieces being separated as we move through. This is a very Apple-like uh, design when you go onto an Apple product page and they've been able to recreate the feel of scrolling through kind of an Apple type website here. That definitely would have been an inspiration, but it has its own sort of look to it as well. They've diverted it places with the, the typography and, and some of their layouts, but they've managed to achieve that same sort of uh, feel that we get scrolling through the latest Apple product in a mobile site. And finally, this site is one which maybe felt quite difficult to reproduce on mobile, but we still have this interesting layout here where this video is kind of windowed with a full bleed photograph in the background. But as we scroll through, we get the sense of the story unfolding uh, as our finger continues to scroll. The background image is reduced in opacity so then it becomes a dark background, allowing this type to be legible. And it feels again like everything is being layered on top of one another. And each panel looks interesting, looks beautiful in itself. And there is still space on mobile for these sort of asymmetric or you know unusual uh, kind of layouts, even around this photograph here, the way they have set the type over the top of it. There is space for doing that. You don't always just to have a full bleed image and then full width text. They've done that again here where it says projects and discover. And then it goes to partners, timeline, the different parts of the site. It's really clever how they've been able to do that and just add that little bit of visual interest. Again, as we transition into another section, this border becomes stepped and all these little bits of interest just add that extra of delight for the viewer as they scroll through the website. Hopefully this has not only inspired you, but also demonstrated that there's no excuse for not making your designs accessible and no reason that desktop excellence can't be translated to mobile. Until next time, happy designing.